Hello, Alex. How are you doing, Alan? All right? I'm good, friend. What do you got for us all? Good, good. Well, it's just funny. I just want to pick up on what you said there about that, that YouTube video. Mm. And you're absolutely... Oh, they are, you're right there, right now, whoever's seeing it. It is actually a, a DNA test, and it does say so on the packaging. I mean, the PCR test, which is a, a polymerase chain reaction test, doesn't actually test for a virus at all. And that's obviously what, and they know that. That's obviously why the the false positives keep popping up and things like that. And it's obviously just a, a numbers thing. It's just keep because the, they know from a, a test which would be more reliable, they wouldn't get the same amount of Results. real positives. You see, right, so right, what, right. what they're doing is they're using a, a test they know show, throws up a lot of false positives from asymptomatic people as well. So it's just basically keeping the numbers up, I think, isn't it? But you see, if if you happens. if you have a test that will say you've got COVID, even if you've had flu or any of the other viruses, yeah. then you're always going to have, well, if there's another 2,000, another 5,000, 4,800 have been tested positive today. But, yeah. but they're not. And it's a That's lie, it. and they know it's yeah. a lie because they're not stupid. Uh, yeah. So why do they want our DNA? Because that's the crux of it, by the sound of things. Well, th there is. Uh, well, it, it, this has been known for decades. They want they want to bring in digital passports and this type of thing, which will just be basically a microchip that will be in your arm or somewhere like that. All your currency is going to be on this chip. It, it, it's already the patents for it. You can mm. go onto the patent office and, and see that they want you uh, chipped. They want you all your money, your health, everything's connected to this chip. You get it depends whether you leave the country or not, and all it's nothing to do with the virus at all. It, they just want you, they just want you, your number, who you are, where you're at, all of the time. And it's part of AI. It's part of all of this kind of rubbish, and it's all going under the guise of a virus. And what's also interesting, and anyone can look this up. It's it's not hidden or anything. There was a an event staged. In October of 2019, anyone can look this up. It's called Event 201, 201. And basically, it was hosted by Bill and Melinda Gates and quite a few other heads of state and things like that. And it, the, the, the people at it were all he, heads of banks, heads of um, media companies, all this. And basically, it was a staging of, of seeing what would happen in the event of a pandemic, so this is very interesting. It just happened to be a coronavirus pandemic. Mm, funny that. And also, um, right, of course, because I don't, I don't like to get these things wrong. No, it's good. Yeah. So, so it was, it was um, John Hopkins Centre for Health and Security, uh -huh. the World Health, uh, sorry, the World Economic Forum, and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation ran a high-level pandemic exercise on the 18th of October 2019 in New York. Um, right. I'm trying to find a little note here. That's all right. So it was, it was a simulation of an outbreak of a novel zoonotic coronavirus transmitted from bats. This is before December when it actually this did they supposedly it, it happen. happened. Yeah. So that the people that have eventually becomes effectively transmissible from person to person, leading to a severe pandemic. The pathogen and the disease it causes are... Sorry, model illegal... Oh, sorry. Um, largely connected to SARS. <laughs> so the, the, they ran that exercise in October of 2019, and two months later, it all comes out exactly as, as it was exercised back then. But if you if you see government, leading banks, yeah, that's health, what it is. health organisations, yeah. it's everyone that's giving us the the rules that we have to follow. It's the people yeah. that have the power to do that. Broadcasters, they're all in it together. And that's yeah. that's enough to scare you, Poulos, isn't it? But you know what it is? What's going to end up happening? Because... A lot of MPs, most if not all in this country, have been served with a notice to say you either come out and say what people are telling you, or you you're complicit with going along. Obviously, you're not you're not hearing about this in the mainstream, but they have been served with a notice. You either come on your con, um, constituents' side, or you go along 
with the lies and mm. basically what's going to end up happening is there's going to be a, like a Nuremberg trial of the people against the, everyone who's gone along with this. But but see, people if, aren't getting if, it. If you, if you wanted to do the, the whole conspiracy thing and say yeah. this is exactly what the Illuminati said would happen, which yeah. is government would turn against the people and try yeah. and control them with lies... And then yeah. a new organization would step forward and say, but you don't have to go with them, for we are here and we represent the truth. And if you do what we say and you put us in power, we look after you. You'll get all your freedoms back. Life will be sweet again. And you'll no longer have to worry about kings, queens, presidents, because we will put a team of people together to look after the world and keep it safe. And yeah. how many people would vote for that now as opposed to the running around like a headless chicken following rules that don't make yeah. any kind of sense that's destroying people's lives, businesses, and their health? So yeah. it's uh, I can see this is... Uh, it's If you wrote this in a book, everybody would go, oh, that's going to happen. And yet here we are. So it, it's a fascinating I mean, place to be in history. Yeah, I think... See, I'm not really into the conspiracy side of it. Uh, there is, but a lot of it actually has come out with exactly what a lot of people have predicted. Yeah. And if it's predicted, it can't be predicted. It's actually planned, and people have just understood it. Mm. So it's not really a, a prediction. Is it a prediction? Because it's it sort of come out, hasn't it, as to exactly what they've learned. And they obviously, you put it together. Is it a prediction or is it actually a plan? Because well, this is a plan. What's happening now? Well, you see, it's, 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 it sounds like it's a plan. Uh, yeah. It just, the, the people that have said that this was going to happen have said it for so long yeah. that everybody kind of went, nah. Uh, however, yeah. it it may be, a, oh, hang on, maybe there is something in it after all. Who knows? I mean, we're, well, we're, we're guessing because nobody's going to tell us the truth and we're not likely to find it out legally for at least 20 years when the vast majority of the people questioning it will probably be turning up their toes. So uh, yeah. it's, a, it's a dirty game. But if that was the planning phase of what has uh -huh. happened, it's, yeah. it's, it's a disgrace... And well, it's it's horrific at any, yeah. at any level because it's, the world has fallen for it. If that's the yeah. case, it, that's exactly what. I, any of your listeners can go on, put in the search engine "event two zero one" as in the numbers two o one, mm -hmm. and it's there. The, the people who actually done it have got a website. You can just go on, and it tells you who are the players and the all vaccine companies, the, the <laughs> delivery companies, the. Um, the, the people that run the media, the, the banks, right. the, the pe people like this. It t tells you who the players are in it. It also tells you what, what, what this kind of... The, it's sort of a... What, what, I'm not sure the exact word is. It, it's not a stage of what could possibly happen. Right. But it, it's exactly what's, what's happened. What's and and down, down to the saying it's come from bats right. and things like that. I mean, that it's, it came from bats and it... Then they said it was um, something else, then something else. It's just a load of rubbish. It's just to keep you off the scent. It's just to try and keep you involved, like there's something actually ought to come from this. Yeah. And actually, it's nothing. I mean, obviously, the deaths aren't adding up. There is going to be a few more deaths, I think, mm. soon because of the people who haven't been able to get treatments in the hospitals and things like that because right. they're all dancing around doing TikTok videos and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the, I mean, but thankfully, a lot, lot of nurses. Good nurses, good doctors, they're good scientists. Out. They're, they're coming out. out. They're speaking out. And now. it's getting bigger and bigger. And what's going to happen? I mean, I don't know what's going to happen to government after this, unless it's that's planned as well. But they're trying to obviously turn the field at the first hurdle in March when they started doing all this. It didn't have the impact that they thought it was going to. Mm. So what they try to do is they've tried to cause a bit of division with the Black Lives Matter movement, yeah, yeah. who's also funded by the people up on the top. Mm. And people can do their own research into that. Right. So what they tried to do was the George Floyd thing that happened. Right. Yeah. It said basically, like basically saying what a hero he was and things like that. And mm. it was it, they just jumped on these people just, just jumped jump on onto this way. to try and keep to keep something going in the news. 
to keep right. you occupied and keep the one people separate. The, the thought we're going to kill each other mm. never happened. Yeah, but just trying to... the interesting thing that you said though is that the good people are speaking out, and uh, yeah. we, we've had the professor of, of virology say. In a bad year, flu has killed over 50,000. Why are we pretending that this is any worse? What else is really going on? So there's a, a professor asking. And then we had a nurse from the Royal Victoria Infirmary in Newcastle saying, no one is dying of anything other than COVID. And it's all yeah. a lie. I'm a nurse at the RVI. Why are we ordered to lie about it? Why won't more people speak out? Well, that's it. I mean, you can go on the... People can go on to the Office of National Statistics right now and have a look what the leading causes of death are. And COVID-19 is actually 19th, 19th. on the list. And yeah. it's 24th in Wales. So there's 18 killers above COVID-19 right now. Uh, and this that's... is what people aren't getting. The, I think Alzheimer's and um, dementia are number one in, in England. Right. Hey, and Lee, COVID nineteen is nineteenth, isn't it? It's unbelievable, and they shut the they shut the place down for that, totally ignoring the eighteen above it. Yeah, it's interesting, Alex. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you very much, Alan. Take care. See juice, you juicy call. Thanks for ringing in. <sighs> what a world! And yet, as soon as you stop listening, and and I'm not leading anything. I'm just listening to what you say and telling you what other people are saying, and maybe looking at an alternative view to the rest of the world at the moment. You go back to your standard television, they'll keep scaring the bejabers out of you and tell you what to do. I, you know, over the years in my head, I've had a little bell and it's got a red light that flashes and it's, it's, it's a, frankly, it's a bullshit indicator. And it's been going off for months now. Months. Apologies for the language, but 